My name is Olivia and I am an office worker working for a normal company. I live with my husband Levi. On this day, Levi, dinner is almost ready. Thanks, no I'm so hungry. I made soy burgers today, I hope they are good. Hey, that's a very unusual dish. Here, I'll have some, oh, it's delicious. Really? I'm glad I was a little unsure because it was a bit spur of the moment. No, no, it's totally delicious. The soy flavor in the mixture adds a nice touch. Thank you. Well, it turned out more like a tsukun than a burger. Oh, now that you mention it, so I guess it's good not only salted but also teriyaki. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Yes, I made it separately. You're right, Olivia. You know what you're doing. Oh, this one is good too. It's a big hit. I guess it's going to join the regular menu in our house. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Oh, but you should make regular hamburgers too, right? Yes, yes, I'll make the regular ones too. We were living an ordinary and happy life like this. However, a little while later, the company Levi worked for went bankrupt. She couldn't find a new job easily, so she decided to join a company I introduced her to. Welcome back, Levi. You were late again today. Were you working late again? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I got home late. No, it's not that. You seem to be having a hard time at work lately. You keep working overtime and traveling a lot, don't you? What? So what? You're blaming me for spending less time at home, aren't you? No, I'm just worried that you're having a hard time because you seem so busy. Mind your own business. Leave me alone. I'm going to take a bath. Oh, hey, Levi. Levi was so tired from his unfamiliar workplace that he and his wife had not been able to talk much. Moreover, he had recently been taking on more and more responsibilities, working overtime and going on business trips. She began to take it out on me. One day, when I was struggling with my relationship with Levi. Hello mother-in-law, happy birthday today. Oh, thank you for taking the trouble to be so polite. I have prepared a small gift for you. Levi seems to be busy, so I can't give it to you today. I'll come back later to deliver it to you. No, today is fine, just Olivia, please come. Well, okay, then I will come alone. This person was my mother-in-law. It was her birthday, and I had bought her a present beforehand. Every year, Levi and I used to go shopping together and deliver it to my in-law's house, but this year I decided to go alone. And when I arrived at my in-law's house. Oh, look who it is, Olivia. Don't tell me you actually came. What? Yes, your mother-in-law said so. Well, here is a present for you. I'm sorry I'm not with Levi this year. Oh, no, that's okay, it's nothing, thank you. No, no, that's fine, I'll just... What is that? Is that Levi? Um, mother-in-law, is it possible that Levi is here? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. When I arrived at my mother-in-law's house, my mother-in-law grinned at me meaningfully. Moreover, from the back of the house, I could hear Levi's laughter, who was supposed to be on a business trip. I was quietly confused. After a little while, Levi, father-in-law, and a woman I didn't know came in, probably noticing our voices. Hey mom, what's going on? What? Why is Olivia here? Oh, your wife is here. Hello. Eh, uh, who is it? Who is that woman over there? Oh, this is Levi's new wife. She's pregnant now, and she's going to have a grandchild next year. So you are not my wife anymore. Oh, well, this is well, how should I say it? Hey, since Levi says he can't get a divorce at this rate. I thought I'd have Olivia take a look at what's going on.
Well, as you can see, Sophia is living with us now. Oh no. Oh, she offered to live with us when she found out she was pregnant. You know what? She's a very nice girl. She loves us like her real parents. She doesn't mind us moving in with her. She's really very different from Olivia. No, we never talked about living together. You've been married for several years and you haven't even had a child yet. Yes, it's about time you let Levi go. Yes, I feel sorry for Levi if you don't. Oh, I'm going to have a birthday party with just my family now, will you please leave? Sophia and her in-laws are forcing her to get a divorce. Levi, who is also a party involved in the divorce, turned his head to the side and pretended not to know. I was really angry with Levi and with Sophia and her in-laws, so I decided to leave as I wished. When I got home and was packing up my belongings, I found something. A few weeks later, for some reason, I was invited to my in-law's house, and although I wasn't sure, I decided to go. Welcome, Olivia. We've been waiting for you. Hi, Olivia. It's been a while. Thank you for coming today. Come on up. I'm not Levi's wife anymore. I'm a stranger. So I can't go up to Levi's parents' house. Oh, come on, what are you talking about? Yes, yes, don't say that, come and go. No, as I told you before, I can't go up there. Hey, 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 what are you mad at me for? It's been a long time since I've been home, come on up. You are persistent, Levi, more importantly, what happened to your new wife? Oh, that girl. She's already left. I don't know why. She doesn't want to get married anymore. That's okay. Sophia's cooking wasn't very good. On the other hand, Olivia's food is always excellent. Yes, she makes food that I would roll my eyes at with such ease. Oh, after eating Olivia's food, I'll never eat anything else. Hey, father, what does that mean? Oh, no. I've offended my mother, ha ha ha. Well, thank you for the compliment. Olivia, I'm sorry I cheated on you. I'm sorry, I apologize, like this. So please forgive me. Look, Levi is sorry too, can't you forgive him? She learned her lesson once and she won't do it again, so why don't you take this opportunity to make up with her? Levi, just lift up your head already. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, then. Listen, did you think I would forgive you if you apologize to me now? I have no intention of forgiving you. Levi and my in-laws were treating me as if what happened a few weeks ago was a lie. They wanted to repair their relationship with me, and when I refused to do so, as I should have, Oh, come on, Olivia, don't be such a prick. We're friends, aren't we? Do you think she still holds a grudge against you for what you said to her? That's in the past. It's over now. Forget about it. No, it's true that I have no intention of forgiving them, but it's not a question of forgetting. We are already officially divorced. He. Divorced. What are you talking about? I never agreed to divorce. When I went home afterwards to pack, I found the divorce papers that you had already filled out. So I just filled them out and turned them in. After all that preparation, you can't be lying about not agreeing to it, can you? No, no. My mother forced me to fill it out, and I didn't mean it. Sophia is pregnant and we are going to take care of her, but there is one problem. There is a problem that if we do that, Olivia will definitely find out about it. So we tried to take measures together with Sophia. Then Sophia came crying to me and asked me to divorce Olivia and her family. So I had no choice about the divorce papers and what happened that day. I know you don't want to be a divorcee either, so please calm down and reconsider. 
I'm not speaking emotionally, and I'm fine with being a divorcee. Or rather, do you really think that what you just said will change my mind? Besides, the divorce papers have already been filed, so there's nothing to make me reconsider. Nah. Why did you file the divorce papers? Don't do anything selfish. You're getting ahead of yourself over something as trivial as that. Oh, Levi, you poor thing. I wish I could replace your grief. Levi and my in-laws started blaming me, saying that they were only doing what was convenient for them. So to those three people, I... You're being very selfish. Well, this is the last time I'm going to do this, so it's okay. Levi's stuff, it's going to be delivered here tomorrow, freight collect, so please take care of it. I've already moved out. What? I just came to inform you that I'm divorced today, and also about the alimony. Come in. Sorry to bother you. I'm sorry for the sudden appearance. My name is Liam. I'm a lawyer. I'm here today at the request of my childhood friend Olivia. Lawyer? What a guy you brought with you. Oh, I'm sorry. Please don't try to contact Olivia San anymore. If you need anything in the future, please go through me, your lawyer. What the hell is that? There's no way I'm going to agree to that. Levi and my in-laws informed me that they were consulting a lawyer for alimony, so I was about to leave when I suddenly remembered something. Oh, I forgot to tell you something important. Your father said Levi is fired. What? Levi is fired. What is that? Is fired something in Olivia's local language? No, it means fired. After the company Levi was working for went bankrupt, he had a lot of trouble finding a new job. I introduced him to my father's business partner and she is still working there. Oh, really? Ugh, Levi, is that true what you just said? Did you have an affair under such circumstances? Ah, uh, what Olivia said is true. You've been taking it out on me a lot with your business trips and overtime. I heard that you were missing a lot of work because you didn't fit in at work, isn't that funny? No, it's, it's, it's just. You don't have to fool me. It was just that Sophia found out she was pregnant and things were a bit difficult at the time, wasn't it? Oh no. Levi didn't do that. She never told me that she was constantly absent from work. She never said anything about that. She was very proud and asked me to keep quiet about it from her mother's in-law. As you can see from Levi's reaction, it's all true. Well, that was a bad thing, Levi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry Levi was so hard on you. I'm sorry about that. After that I regretted being hard on you. I'll do better next time. I won't make the same mistake. So please, please try again with me. Oh, you really don't know anything. No thanks. I told you, I just came here today to tell you about the paperwork in the first place. What the hell? You really are a hard-headed bitch, and Levi is apologizing so much. Don't you know why Levi wanted to be with Sophia? Because you're like that, Levi switched sides with Ms. Sophia. She might even think she left us. Sophia didn't break up with Levi, you are the one who left us. You two are talking too much, calm down. If you keep this up, they're going to find out that we're letting Sophia live here as usual without telling them. Levi confesses himself that he is still in a relationship with Sophia and I. I'll tell you something good for Levi who went to the trouble of revealing it to me. Sophia, you had an affair with another man. What are you talking about all of a sudden? That can't be true! You're trying to upset us by saying random things. But it's not. But if it's true. If you're concerned, why don't you ask him himself? He's still here, isn't he? Hey, hey, don't you think it would be better to clarify at this point? That's exactly what you should ask. Hey, 
Sophia, what you just said. I mean, why are you packing your bags? Oh, haha. -ha. Well, I just remembered something urgent. Oh, no. No way. Did you really have an affair? That's why I said we should check. Nah. What kind of a slut are you? It's your son's fault for being so chaste. If anything, it's your fault for raising him like that. Ah. Liam, let's go home for today anyway. Thus, Liam and I went home, ignoring the four of them who continued to gabble and fuss. Sophia, who was kicked out of the house, lied that her husband had cheated on her and returned to her parents' house, but, her parents, angered by this, yelled at her and Levi, and her lie was exposed. Sophia's parents cut her off and kicked her out of the house. Sophia was forced to work part-time to make ends meet. Levi, on the other hand, was laid off and became unemployed, and his former in-laws lost their source of income. She could not find a new job and had to live off her savings. Then Liam filed a claim for alimony, and the in-laws lost almost all of their savings. Finally, Levi and his former in-laws could no longer care less about their employment status. Each of them managed to find a part-time job and, they had no choice but to work day and night. And as for us. Hi, I'm back again. Here's the hamburger steak you ordered. Oh, yummy. This could open a restaurant, couldn't it? Hey, you give too many compliments. Here, eat it before it gets cold. Well then, let's get to it. Yes, it's good. That's Olivia for you. Juicy, fluffy thing is the best. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. But is this what you wanted to thank me for the other day? Oh, not at all. It's more than enough. In fact, I'd like to thank you myself. Yeah, that much. Liam, what kind of food do you usually eat? Well, mostly convenience store bento. I think I've conquered all the convenience store bento in my neighborhood. All of them. All of them? What? You really eat only convenience store bento every day? No, not every day is a matter of course. Oh no, maybe almost every day. Now I was going to say that I eat on a gyri or something, but at night it's bento. Well, maybe it's because you're busy with work, but I'm a little worried. Hey, you eat vegetables too, right? The hamburgers were so good, I wasn't listening. That's your reaction, you're not eating salad or anything, are you? No. I'm eating it. I'm eating the lettuce with it. Accompanying lettuce, those things aren't the size of a hamster. Oh, so you mean you don't eat vegetables at all? Not at all. Olivia, imagine there are people in the world who can't even eat enough food. Compared to them, I'd rather eat too many vegetables. You're comparing the wrong thing. You should compare it with something closer. I eat more vegetables than Taro, the guy sitting next to me. I don't know anyone like that. Does this Taro eat vegetables? No, I'm eating a pig that eats vegetables. There's nothing wrong with that. Listen, Liam, this is what I call the food chain. Haha, <laughs> he's a funny guy. It's not funny. It means you're not eating at all when you're comparing yourself to someone like that. Wait a minute. Yes, eat this too. Oh, come on, Olivia. I don't need a salad. After all, I have vegetable juice every day. Just eat it. And get into the habit of eating raw vegetables. Yes, but vegetable juice also comes from raw. Don't trace it back to the source. You don't want to end up like Taro. Don't make it sound like Taro is unhealthy. Well, he's been getting a lot of health checkups. Huh, Liam, next time you stop by my house before work, I'll give you a salad. Oh, no thanks, I don't need a salad. Okay, I'll make you a lunch as good as the hamburger you just had, so come and get it. Well, that's fascinating, but I feel bad asking you to do that much for me. It's okay, Liam's eating habits are worse. Ugh, well, I'll take your word for it. Since then we have met and had dinner from time to time. 
On this particular day, Liam wanted me to serve him my home-cooked meal, so this is how we ate at home. He seemed to be satisfied with the taste, but Liam seemed to have a rather disordered eating habit. I ended up taking extra care of him. I am glad he accepted it, but... Why did I go to such lengths to help him? Well, I guess I just take good care of them. And so I went about my daily routine of making lunch boxes.